I've really taken time to break down what 3D code is in most of my videos, so I'm not going to repeat that in this video. 3D code has been in existence for a very long time, but I still ask myself how come nobody still knows of it. The software gained popularity due to its 3D projection painting, topology, and UV2. It was considered the 3D equivalent of Photoshop during its peak. As time passed, the software expanded its functionality but faced competition from other specialized apps that offered similar tools. 3D code takes on a different I would say a unique approach and this unique approach is what has caused the software's growth. Most people see it and go, mm, this is weird and they back out without wanting to try it. Now, did you know 3D code can complement every software without any shortcomings or stress? Yes, from ZBrush to Blender, Maya Max, you name it, it fits perfectly. In the performance department, I would give it to ZBrush because ZBrush is still keen these days. However, to say that 3D code performs at a high level will be an understatement. You can readily sculpt models in that 250 million plus poly range without having to mortgage your home for a supercomputer like Blender would make you do. And let's face it, 250 million plus polys is more than enough for most projects and far beyond what you would ever use in game projects, right? 3D code also benefits from having broader categorical diversity of features under the hood and is perfect complement to Blender and ZBrush. UV mapping and texture painting in ZBrush and Blender will be very basic if you begin to use 3D code. Its feature sets for these two tasks are super powerful, but ZBrush wins if we are to compare it with 3D code in a pure sculpting category. 3D code offers other several useful options such as retopology, which is considered miles ahead of ZBrush. The texture painting in 3D code is also at a high level, comparable to Substance Painter. Its features are many and dope. You should visit their website and then read more about it. I constantly keep discouraging already Blender and ZBrush users not to quit and jump onto 3D code entirely, but rather complement those two with 3D code. That's the best decision you would ever take as a digital sculptor. The only real downside to using 3D code according to some users is instability, but I don't keep this reason in my books because it's super stable for others as well, so we can't conclude on this to be a general issue in using 3D code. Aside this, I'm very careful suggesting 3D code to everybody in many situations. Number one reason will be that 3D code can function as a credible substitute for both ZBrush and Substance Painter, especially if you work freelance or someone already working within a small or developing studio. One thing to keep in mind is 3D code is not an industry standard. What this means is that it may not carry as much weight when searching for a job. That's why I always use the term complement. But if you are planning on working in a bigger studio someday and you choose to go with only 3D code, you might be disappointed in the end. Only make it a complement and you will secure a job real quick. It's worth mentioning that ZBrush now offers subscription-based license as well as perpetual licenses, which will cost more than 3D code but will not require any additional fees unless you choose to upgrade to the next paid version. In conclusion, 3D code is a great software. You can search it up, try to see if you would flow well with it, and yeah, develop your skills beyond the skies because the sky is not the limit.